I'm Professor Paul Lee. I work in the Keep Clinic with MSK Doctors, and I am the visiting professor of sports medicine with University of Lincoln. My uh, expertise is in lower limb sports medicine. I also work in Harley Street and I treat sportsmen as well as uh, Premiership footballers. So compartment syndrome is when the fascia is too tight for the compartment within the muscle. And there is the pressure building up within the muscle and actually stretching those compartments. Therefore, there's not enough oxygen, not enough blood supply to that muscle. And it leads to problems in terms of ischemia and it can lead to muscle necrosis as well. There are two different types of compartment syndrome, acute and chronic. Acute compartment syndrome is something that we typically see in crush injury or in trauma. It is relatively rare, however, it is very, very serious when that happens. Now, there are many different signs that we can look for for acute compartment syndrome. However, most of them are late signs, which is patients who have loss of sensation, paresthesia, loss of pulse, but these are very, very late signs. It is something that quite easy to diagnose clinically if you know what you're looking for. If we pick it up early, we should be able to treat it. On the other hand, chronic compartment syndrome, that's a completely different kettle of fish. It's very difficult to diagnose. There's a lot of time patient complain of this vague pain around their limb, typically happen in people that are participating in sport, specifically running, long distance running. What happened in there is that the pressure in the compartment build up after they're running or while they're running, the muscles swell up and push against that compartment. A lot of doctors cannot find a way to diagnose this. MRI scan will not pick it up. Ultrasound scan will not pick it up. The only way to measure that in a chronic compartment syndrome is by direct compartment pressure measuring. So nowadays we tend to use a blood pressure and arterial line monitor to try to hook up a line to try to measure this compartment. It's not the easiest way to do it and actually it's quite costly. The compass device is great because it has got a good battery life. At the same time, it is also sterilely packed. It's very easy to use. And the beauty of that is we can reset the device and we can actually reuse it for the same patient in that same sitting. And sometimes you have to measure both compartments or different compartments and we have to do a repeat measure. And I think that comes to a class on its own. Because the device is sterilely packed and all the consumable is a syringe and a needle, which we readily available and is sterile, we can use it in a clinical setting, in a outpatient setting instead of in hospital or in a general anaesthetic theatre setting. We have great feedback from our patient and it really helps us to diagnose uh, this condition very quickly and meaningfully.